have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hey guys, so I know it's been about five months since Christmas. I actually just went to Tom's Toys today and turns out, I'm not sure if Tom's Toys is a huge corporation, but um, I know there's a Tom's Toy in my city. So I went down to Tom's Toys and everything there was 50% off because they're trying to get rid of the briars there. So I decided that why not get like a ton of horses? And I did the math in my head and on my phone just in case I was wrong. And I got a ton of briars, including, I'm gonna show you guys right now, what the biggest thing I got was. I got this barn. Holy crap, it's huge. I think this will be really useful for my new um, weird story series, cause you know. But anyways, she got me another Western tech set. My mom also got me a cow, which I'm not gonna open because I don't want it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna sell it in the future. My mom wanted me to get this cow because it reminded her of 4-H because she used to do Herefords specifically, so she really wanted it. By the way, I still have Baby Flow. I got rid of Bandera, but I still have Baby Flow because I decided I'm gonna give it to my friend for her 16th birthday since she also likes Briars. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to get started with the ones I got from Tom's Toys, just because I have them all with me at this moment. So I'm gonna start with the foals that I got. The first one I got, Scooter. I'm really excited to get Scooter because then I can finish the set with Sweet Pea and Rocky. Speaking of finishing the set, I also got Rocky. I think it's really cool that I now have both of them, all three of them all together with their little necklaces. I think it's so cute. And I got Sweet Peas so long ago, oh my gosh. So I don't have all of the Best of British Horses, but I decided to finish mine off because I didn't really like many of the Best of British Horses. So I just got the Connemara Pony, which I actually got the Connemara Pony a long time ago, but I gave it to my friend as a present because we're both Irish. She loves the Connemara Pony and I decided to give it to her. And I gave her a really good one because it doesn't have this long mane, so it's probably really valuable to her now. And then the next one I got was the 50 Years of NRHA horse. I decided that I wanted to do a stop motion of raining, so I'm working on getting all of the horses to do the video, which might be kind of difficult since there isn't a spinning horse that's completely sorrel, but I'll figure something out. I'm really excited to get this one because I am wanting to get into raining. Actually, I don't want to get into raining. I want to get into rain cow horse, but still. And the last one I got from Tom's Toys is Harley D. Zip because I've been wanting him forever and I actually got him once again. I got him a long time ago, but I gave it to my friend for her birthday. I do have a lot of friends who like Briar. I'm really excited that I got all these horses, and then I also got one from White Horse, which you guys probably don't know what White Horse is, but it's basically a tack shop around in the county that I live in. This is the last one. By the way, I'm probably going to be calling this my Christmas part two video slash Easter loot since my family does get stuff for Easter. So it's like a second Christmas almost. <laughs> I got Xavier because, oh my god. God, I love unicorns. I also love pegasuses, but I haven't really found a pegasus yet in Briar. I mean, I know Bri Briar has them, but the last one I saw was a classic, and I don't collect classics anymore. Heck, I'm trying to get rid of my classics <laughs> so I can have more room for my traditionals. Anyways, um, I'm going to go through this long-ass process of trying to open every single one of these guys and show you guys. So I know this intro is very long, but stay with me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be starting off in a, a similar order. I'm going to be starting with the Tom's Toys first. I'm not opening the heifer or the tax set because I've done that in the past. So anyways, this is the first one we're gonna be looking at and I remember I'm gonna be going through these a lot quicker usually. The Connemara Pony. I really like the Connemara Pony. I'm really sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Some people have corrected me on that before, but back to the briar, I, I like the briar a lot, but the only thing I don't like is the mane. I honestly like the mane better when it was in braids um, just because the mane at the moment doesn't really look that realistic to me. I feel like a mane that long 
wouldn't be sticking straight up like that. I feel like it would be more of like a curve to it, you know? I don't know, but I really like the rest of it. I love how long the tail is. I like it how the tail's not in braids. And in general, I really like this mold. I don't know why. I'm not even a jumping person, and I love the jumping mold. The only issue with the jumping mold is that you can only use it for jumping things. You can't really use it in, like, Briar Horse movies. But besides that, I could totally use this horse for a jumping stop motion. So... I'll be happy to get started on that. The next one I'm going to be going over is Harley D. Zip. Now, I'm going to be going over him with his bow just because. So something I noticed right off the bat is that I'm not sure if it's just my briar that I have, but he's a little tilted. And you can kind of see it from an angle. He's tilting a little bit, which I guess is fine. But I feel like the leg is a little bit shorter than it should be. You, you can kind of see it from the front. He, he's like obviously tilting and it I think it makes it harder for him to stand because my friend, I gave my friend the other one and my friend had no complaints about him. He was completely fine. In fact, his leg wasn't like that. He wasn't tilted. So I'm not sure if that's just with my briar, but I really don't like that. Of course, it's not noticeable from most angles. So I'm fine with it. I love his color. I love the whole like relaxed Western style. Something I really don't like in the Western world is when reining horses put their heads super low. I just hate that in a horse. I mean, it's kind of cool when a horse like puts its head down mildly, but I hate it when a horse puts it its head down like all the way to the ground, like it's gonna eat or something. And I love it how he's not doing that. Like a lot of horses in the Western world, they put their heads super low and I'm like, I hate it. I just really hate it. I hope Ryer never makes a horse like that. And they haven't made it yet, so I'm really happy and I, I just love Harley D. Zip. I mean, the only thing, another thing I don't really like about him though is the fact that his rump is a little bit slanted, but that's just kind of a quarter horse confirmation that I don't care for. But besides that, I love him so much. And I honestly really like the ribbon. I like it. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a little string connecting it to his leg so it stays in that position. I think that's really cool. On to the next horse. I'm going to be going over both foals without their blankets just because I feel like everybody kind of knows what they look like with their blankets. Um, they both come with these little cute things and I love these. They're like little bracelets. I feel like they could be like friendship bracelets. That's probably what they are. I'm such a dumbass but... <laughs> I didn't really like this horse at first when I first saw him because I thought he was, or he, he, she, whatever. Wait, is it he or she? It's a he, you guys. It's a he. I didn't really like him at first because of his color. I thought it was too bright and vibrant, kind of like too neon and stuff like that. But I've honestly grown to like him. I love the patterns that he has and everything. I've always wanted this mold. I don't know why. It's not that even, it's not really a perfect mold. Not. I'm, I don't think very many people like it just because it's just, I don't know, it's face is a little small, but I don't know why most people don't like it. I just happen to love this mold and what grew me on to this mold was actually Vengeance Reign from Fox Glory 1, 2, 3. I don't know why. I just ended up loving the character and then I started loving the mold in any color basically. And I feel like this color is very different, which kind of makes it really cool. I feel I feel like if Briar made an adult version of this mold, I would totally buy it. Okay? If they made a horse exactly like that, like doesn't like like a mold exactly like that in an adult form, you have my money, Briar. I do really think they should consider making an adult version of this mold just because I love it so much. So on to the next horse. Once again, I am gonna be doing it without the blanket, but it does come with this super cute necklace, which again, I think it's a friendship bracelet, which I'm a dumbass because it has to be. I don't really know what I think of Rocky. Um, I really liked it when I saw him in a store, but I didn't expect to see the spots like that. I get that a lot of horses have spots like that. It's just not my favorite. I love the head. The head is so adorable. Oh my God. The only thing I really don't like about this horse is that it's just the the spots on it. I wish they were a little bit more faded because I feel like if the spots were more faded, it'd look more realistic. And I get that some horses have really bold spots, but I don't think any horse has 
spots this bold. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I never really used to like this mold, but I really like it on this horse. I love the brown on the legs and the head. It just makes it look like an Appaloosa roan, which is super unique. Usually, I don't like the unique briar horses. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but most of the time I don't just because they're just so wild. It's just stupid. Like, take those Tiger series, for example. I don't really, like, I used to kind of like them because they were cats and everything, but now that I really think about it, I don't really like them at all because you can't use them for anything. And I know I don't use a lot of the briars that I have, but it is fun to collect them, but those cat ones just, oh, dude, over the top, man. I, I don't like it. So this guy's kind of like a good mix between unique and normal. On to the next one. This one is NRHA. I keep wanting to say NRCHA, but I think it's NRHA. Ugh, I'll look at the box later. <laughs> I think I could use this guy for a reigning stop motion. I just think that would be so cool. I have the horses to do it, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I wish he was a little bit taller. I wish he was, looked more like a traditional than a classic, and he actually might be a classic. In fact, he probably is a classic, but the fact that they don't have any bigger models that do this position makes me want it. Like, because none of the other horses can slide stop like that. All of the other horses are either standing, or there's, I mean, they have a briar that's spinning. I. I would totally tell Briar to make a bigger model of it and I would totally buy it. But I just bought this guy because I didn't see any other option for a sliding horse. I do like the tail on the ground because it's very realistic. Most people would be like, that's not very realistic, but actually it is because if you look at other horses, when the tailbone's down, it's like goes on the ground and stuff like that. I really like how the horse is stopping. I just love how the horse is stopping. Like, it looks like he was sliding. I don't know, I just really like it. I wish they picked a better color. I feel like, yeah, it's a pretty average color, but they didn't add very much color to it. I wish they added a little bit of white, maybe on the, um, maybe on the face or the hooves or something like that. So yeah, I really wish they added white on this horse. It would make it look so much better. Maybe I should add it myself. <laughs> on to the next horse, though. The one that I am looking forward to the most. Xavier! I love Xavier! Oh my gosh. When I first got Xavier, I was confused on whether he had blue highlights or purple highlights. Turns out, he has both in certain lighting. Now, in this lighting, he looks very blue, but in person, you can kind of see the purple on him. And I absolutely love it. Oh my god, he is so beautiful. I'm usually not a glitter person, okay? I usually hate glitter. But the fact that the glitter doesn't come off, <laughs> which is life-saving for me, and the fact that it's a unicorn. I mean, who can go wrong with glitter on a unicorn? I usually hate glitter just because it comes off and the fact that it kind of makes them too sparkly but they added like a healthy amount to him. I think you can kind of see it from this angle, how he's a little bit purple. You can kind of see it right here, but I'm not quite sure if the camera can catch it. It can sort of catch it, so tell me if you guys can see it or not. He is a little, he is leaning a little bit towards the right, which is a little bit bothersome, but the fact that he's lifting up his leg kind of, give, you know, just kind of like, you know, probably, yeah. But my other Oth Othello molds don't do that, so... <laughs> I have a question for you guys who are, like, really smart with briars. So, does it count? So, like, he has a horn, okay? If he didn't have a horn, would he be part of the Othello conga that I have? Or, even if he has the horn, would he still be a part of the conga? So whether he has the horn or not, would he be in the conga? I just don't know. It's like confusing to me because I have a really big conga of American quarter horse mares, but some of them have like different tails or different manes or something like that that define it differently, and I'm not sure if they're technically part of the same conga. They could be, but they also couldn't be. The same thing with um, OT Ceremony RSI and Make a Wish, because their tails are different. Anyways, I hope you guys answered that question. And I just love this horse. Oh my god, it's a guy unicorn. I don't have a guy unicorn yet, so yay! Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if it's a little bit long. So yeah, so out of these guys, which ones is your favorite?
I have all of these precious guys. So I am planning to use some of them for either stop motion or maybe some of my weird stories or whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social medias down in the description below. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!